Welcome to Problems and Solutions. Today, we will solve the problem 59 of chapter 6. Let's start reading. In the figure, a 1.34 kg ball is connected by means of two massless strings, each of length 1.7 meters to a vertical rotating rod. The strings are tied to the rod with separation d here equals 1.7 meters and are taut. The tension in the upper, the upper string is 35 newtons. What are what are the tension in the lower string? Magnitude of the net force F net on the ball and the speed of the ball. What's the direction of F net? So Let's start. Let's start the problem. Uh, we, we, we will start considering the forces acting on the ball. Let's draw the force using red. Red is a good color to, to draw the force. So we will have here the weight. Mg, the tension T1 and the tension in the lower string. Let's draw also this a circle here. That's it. So let's copy this. Okay. Here we have. Here we have the forces, okay. And uh, T1, the tension in the upper string. T1. T2, the tension in the lower string. Mg, the weight. And this is all the force we have in the ball. And we can now start writing the equations. So let's do it. Item A. What are the tension in the lower stream? Let's consider the angles to be complete. Let's draw the angles also. Here we have here. Here we have here. Here we have third degrees and third degrees. Because here we have a equilateral triangle. The sides are equal. And so the angles the vertices will be 60 degrees so we have with the horizontal horizontal direction 30 degrees and so here papa here oops yeah now okay so here we have 30 degrees and 30 degrees. Now let's sum the, the forces in the vertical direction. We, we, we don't have any movement in the vertical direction. And so we don't have acceleration in the vertical direction. And we can write the, the sum of the force in the vertical direction must be zero. Therefore, we can write T1 multiplied by sine of the degrees minus the tension in the lower string multiplied by sine of the degrees minus mg, the weight, will be zero.
the tension in the upper upper up string upper string is 35 so here we have uh, 35 here multiplied by sine of 30 degrees 1 divided by 2 minus the mass of the ball the mass of the ball 1.34 multiplied by 9.81 equals the tension in the lower string multiplied by sine of 30 degrees therefore we can compute now the tension in the upper in the lower string let's use our, our calculator here okay so 35 divided by 2 minus 1 point you 34 not, not 35 here 34 multiplied by 9.81 and multiplied by 2 So the tension in the lower string will be 8.71 newtons. This is the item A of the problem. Item B, the magnitudes of the net force. Okay. Item B. We know that the the forces in the vertical direction will be zero. So the net force, of course, will be in the horizontal horizontal direction, and will be, of course, the the sum of the projections of the tension. So we can write the F net equals the tension in the upper string multiplied by cosine of 30 degrees plus the tension in the lower string multiplied also by cosine of 30 degrees so F net will be the tension here is 35 multiplied by square root of 3 divided by 2 plus 8.71 multiplied by square root of 3 divided by 2 therefore the magnitude of the net force it will be Uh, 8.7 multiplied by the square root of 3 divided by 2 plus 35 multiplied by square root of 3 divided by 2 and the result will be 37 point 8 point 9 to be correct okay here we have the, the net force the direction it in D we can also put the direction will be the horizontal going to the left and it in C to close to solve completely the problem it in C what the speed of the ball 
This net force will be responsible for the centripetal acceleration in the x direction. So we can write that F net equals the mass of the ball multiplied by the centripetal acceleration, that is the velocity squared divided by the radius of the movement. And here we have, we want to know the velocity, so the velocity will be uh, velocity will be f net multiplied by the radius of the movement and divide by the mass the square root of this will be the velocity so let's write it will be square root of 37.9 multiplied by the radius, the radius we can compute considering that L is 1.7. So 1.7 multiplied by cosine of 30 degrees to project this 1.7 in the x direction and divide by the mass of the ball. There is the mass of the ball. 1.34 1.34 Therefore, let's use our, our calculator uh, Square root okay. Square root of 37 multiplied by 1.7 multiplied by the cosine of 30 degrees divide here we have since I more parentheses divide by 1.34 here, okay. And the result would be velocity equals six point four five meters per second. Very simple problem, easy to to solve and that's it. The problem is solved.